I turned this custom Android TV box into a full Windows 11 media machine and honestly, it works better than I expected. Hey everyone, Badger DIY here again. Today we're doing something a little different. we saying goodbye to my custom Android TV build and switching to a setup I never thought I'd try. A full Windows TV experience, media, games, streaming, all from one mini PC. So with that said, let's jump in. Before we get started, quick note, this video and all my videos are for educational use only. If you saw the loading or testing apps, definitely use a VPN just to stay safe. Now, one big reason to build a custom Android TV is app testing. You can try things before loading them onto your Fire Stick, NVIDIA Shield or main setup. If you're using Downloader, enter this code, it will take you straight to the install page. Open the app, type in this URL, and you got access to even more tools and apps to test. Use what works for you, that's the beauty of a custom build. If you do enjoy this video so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, so you don't miss the next one. So, is it still worth building a custom Android TV setup in 2025? Honestly, yeah, it's a fun project, but let's be real, it's also a hassle. You'll need Telegram, deal with spammy monetization links, download the ISO, extract the files. It kinda adds up, quite fast. That's why in this video I'm keeping things simple, Windows 11. So uh, let's turn this thing into a full-blown Windows TV box. No emulator, no dual boot, just straight up Windows. Okay, here's the setup. This is a Lenovo M910Q tiny PC with the Intel Core i5 7500T, 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigs SSD. For navigation, I'm using a mini wireless keyboard and for gaming, my go-to Easy SMX X5 controller. Windows 11 will be the main OS and will make it feel like a real TV box. Let's get this installed. I'm using a SATA to USB adapter with the SSD connected to my main PC. Step 1, head to Microsoft website and download the latest Windows 11 ISO. Install Rufus, plug in your SSD and create a Windows to go setup. From here you can tweak some advanced settings in Rufus, but for this I'm leaving everything on default. And we are in Windows 11 on this tiny PC, running smoothly with 16 gigs of RAM and nearly 500 gigs of storage. I did activate Windows, but that's optional. It doesn't exactly scream TV box yet, but we'll fix that in just a minute. First, let's install the apps I use every day, YouTube, Jellyfin and Prime Video. 
For games I added Roblox, Smite and Stardew Valley and for bigger games I'm using Moonlight and Xbox Game Pass. Oh and uh, of course Retrobat for all the retro goodness. Now let's make it feel more like a smart TV. We'll set the taskbar to automatically hide. We'll set auto login on boot. We'll create sleep shutdown bad files. I'll leave those in a pinned comment. Modern wallpaper plus B widgets for the clock and weather. These are simple tweaks, but they go a long way to make this thing feel clean and snappy. Honestly, I didn't think turning a Windows PC into a living room media center would work this well. But here we are. And of course, you could take it way further. Different skins, launchers, or even a full front end like Play Night. This is just uh, my version for now. Now let's do our first boot to test if everything works as it should. And time for a quick media test. We'll launch YouTube, Jellyfin and Prime Video. Everything works just like you expect. Navigation is smooth, streaming is solid and having a full Windows OS means you're not locked into anything. The wireless keyboard makes it super easy to use. Now for a little gaming, I got the easy SMX controller ready to go and we'll start with the games that we can play directly from the PC. Everything runs great, but these games aren't super demanding, so performance is smooth overall. Occasional FPS dips, but totally playable. For cloud gaming, I tested Forza Horizon 5 using Xbox Game Pass. No issue here either. So overall this little setup handles everything I need. Streaming, casual games, cloud gaming and even retro stuff. There's a lot of room to expand. You could switch to Linux, install Kodi or go all in with a dedicated frontend. 
But if you, if you just want something simple, familiar and powerful, Windows TV is a solid option. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Drop a comment if you tried this or plan to. I would like to hear what you do differently. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.